Hi, this is Dan, WD9E. With the encouragement of my friends at the North Shore Radio Club, I decided to interface my DVAP with a Raspberry Pi. Everything worked fine, but it wasn't geeky enough. So I hooked up the Raspberry Pi through my cellular phone personal hotspot and powered it with a battery. Then I connected the Raspberry Pi to my iPhone using VNC so I can display and type on the keyboard. This is the ultimate setup. I would like to give special thanks to Brian, WA6JFK, for the Raspberry Pi image. All right, so let's go ahead and power this up. Let me zoom up a little bit. And you'll see it starts going through its uh, automatic uh, startup. And as you can see, there is no mouse, keyboard, or uh, display attached. It does everything automatically. When the light turns from green to blue on the DVAP, it indicates connection to the gateway. It's almost there. All right, now we're connected. So I'm going to take the radio. This is a ID51, and I'll connect to reflector 1C. Remote system linked. And you can see the flashing uh, activity lights on the DVAP. Now I'll show you the VNC connection to uh, the Raspberry Pi. So this is my iPhone which is now connected to the Raspberry Pi via a hotspot. This is the VNC program. I'll just start it. And there it is. So let me zoom in so you can see what's going on. So as you can see, this is the Raspberry Pi uh, interface, and here is the DVAP uh, uh, control program. So this is pretty cool, but it's, it's kind of small, but you could actually do everything. So I'll change to the terminal screen here, and then you could actually see what's going on, which is very cool. So just for fun, I will... Uh, do a uh, echo test. This is WD9E echo test. This is WD9E echo test. And you can see the corresponding uh, text here. All right. The other cool thing is that you're not only limited to the iPhone, I also have it connected to. Here we go. This is an iPad, and this is the same VNC screen on the iPad. So, let me do this again. So actually, let me put this over here so you can see this too. So both are running simultaneously. So I'm going to go ahead, I'll try that, uh, here actually I'll unlink. I'm going to unlink the repeater. Remote system unlinked. And you can see everything happening on the screen. So this is really a nice way to interface with the uh, Raspberry Pi wirelessly, which is really neat. The nice thing is you actually don't need it, but it's kind of cool to, to uh, see. And here is a close-up of the setup. Most of this is just extra cables. I could certainly get smaller cables make it a nice uh, little package but uh, so as you can see the little Wi-Fi USB is uh, blinking away we have the indicator lights on the Raspberry Pi and of course you have the DVAP and this is just a little 5 volt 1 amp 
uh, rechargeable uh, battery. So if you're in the house or away in a hotel room, you can actually just plug it in to uh, this, which is just a little transformer for the wall. And this is 5 volts, I believe it's 3 amps, but you only need 1 amp. And I'll flip this around. You can see the little SD card. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and try to connect to a uh, reflector to see if anybody's uh, speaking. Alright, well thank you for watching my video. Have fun.